Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Weekly Builds. So today I'm going to be looking at these two Christmas themed promo sets. We've got the Lego Wintertime Market Stall and the Christmas Fun VIP Add-on Pack. So let's start off with the Christmas Fun VIP Add-on Pack. This set was available with purchases over £45 in the UK or $50 in the US with qualifying purchases in November. So it's not available at the moment, but you know, people are always selling these things on eBay and Facebook and things, so keep an eye out. Or, you never know, Lego might bring it back, because they've done that with a couple of these packs now. And, well, you can't see anything on the back, but they're not really sets, they're just parts and things you can use to add on, hence the name, add on pack. We've got the mini trees, I love the mini trees. Got some stars, some, some dishes, some leaf pieces, fruit and veg, pies. Let's open it up and take a better look. And inside is a slightly smaller bag with some smaller parts, with some other leaf pieces, stars, candy treats. And there's even a Lego fork. You don't see many of those. So we got snowflake pieces, a teddy bear. Maybe this could represent a log or some sort. Bits to make candles, tree decorations. And this isn't an instruction booklet, but it is a little suggestion sheet. So it shows you what you can use some of these to give you some ideas as to decorate things. And oh, I guess you can make a very cube, <laughs> very squared off Christmas tree using some of the parts in here and some presents and things. How you can decorate it, add on to other sets. Yeah. Some basic ideas, but, you know, they don't have to do this, but they do. So let's organise these parts into a bit more of an order and see what we've got. So I've laid everything out now into little piles, grouped things together. We've got lots of food items, including a turkey, got a Christmas hat, a couple of Santa beards and scarves, a gift box, a couple of plates, some big yellow stars. Then we've got some snot bricks and brackets and things, candles, red masonry bricks, gold clips. Different colour transparent, one by ones, maybe they represent Christmas lights, gold stars, yellow stars, the log prints, red, red and green flowers, snowflakes, plants and leaves and the trees, of course. Yeah, so not really anything you can use to make stuff with, but again, it is only an add-on pack and all these parts here are pretty good. Christmas colours, you know... They pretty much go with anything that you're doing. It's just a good add-on pack, really. I can't fault it, I don't think. Although, to get only one of each, like some of these items, like only one turkey, or only one pie, only one teddy, only one cat, only one Christmas hat, to get some duplicates of those would have been nice because you get duplicates of other items, so it's strange that you just get one. But, yeah, that's just a nitpick, really. Some nice stuff here. Now, I wonder if I can make anything out of this stuff. Okay, I'm embarrassed to say how long I've spent trying to build something out of these parts. And as you can see, there's a lot left over, but this is what I did manage to make. So the first things first is I made this nice little dining table, all ready for the Christmas dinner, with two chairs, you've got the cutlery out, nice candle lit, and some drinks as well. We've got the Christmas tree in the background, and this was hard because, yes, it comes with those trees, but you can't put anything on them at all, there's no way to stick studs on it it just doesn't work so i did some studs on the side construction to build this very flat tree but you know looking at it from the front it's nicely decorated and it looks like someone's just unwrapped a present with a teddy bear in it and they just happen to have some potted plants and flowers in their house and then off to the side they got some after dinner treats with a pie and some cookies well i couldn't quite fit the turkey on the main dining table and i just didn't have enough parts here to come up with a good enough separate table to have the turkey on. So unfortunately that had to be left out like most of these other parts. I did try, but I just couldn't come up with anything good. But I'm happy with this little scene. I think it looks all right, actually. But now it's time to move these parts out of the way and move over to this set here. The Wintertime Market Stall. Okay, so let's have a look at this set, the Wintertime Market Stall. So number 40602. 8 plus and yeah it's the little market stall and I think just looking at it as it is it looks quite big but then by the looks of things it's only got three items in there with the train the rocket and this little soldier statue Christmas tree looks a bit stubby could have done with I don't know like a 
green cone on top just to give it more of a point maybe snowman they always try a different build for the snowman and yeah it's interesting i'll see what it looks like in person but i'm more interested in the artwork in the background because this has given me ideas for other market stalls that i could build so i like that and then on the back of the box it just shows you the back of the set and it kind of oh there's some presents hidden up top okay that's cool at least there is some more stuff to the <laughs> market still got an old-fashioned style till there too many figures yeah okay and just another look at these again not even it's not even like lego fired it's just you know basic graphics but you could build that in lego oh right, yeah i think i might get some ideas just from looking at the box let's open it up and see what's inside so we've got two numbered bags, one and two, that's it. And there is the instruction booklet. Kind of, yeah, it's reasonably thick actually. So yeah, and then just on the back is these other creator sets. Yeah, okay. And then if you look in the instructions, it just shows you what bag one and two put together. So you get the minifigures in the first bag and half the market stall and then finish it off with the second bag and the little tree and snowman. So I've just finished bag one, about to start bag two, but here we've got things so far. We've got the two minifigures, we're seeing the woman who's the shopkeeper, and then the kid who's got some money ready to buy something. Yeah, so we've got the little toy soldier, a toy train, and the little old style cash register. Although, I mean, there are no prints or stickers in this set, but one would have been nice just to give some detail to that cash register. So it's a little bit more obvious as to what it's supposed to be, but uh, I mean, we all kind of know, don't we? But... Yeah, it's a pretty open design. Even the tables are only attached barely. Same with the cash register. So you could take those out, which is like a good thing, and then just do what you wanted to with that market store. But let's finish it off with a bag too. It looks like we're building a rocket. And here is the set, all finished and completely built. There's all the spare parts. Quite a few, but nothing too special. Just the usual stuff. We got the Christmas tree, which is, you know, okay. Again, a little bit stubby. Like, it's like the top has been cut off or something it could have done with a cone just on the top that really would have fit off better in my opinion and then we got the snowman you know yeah it's not too bad actually i think this one's probably one of the better ones although i can't help but feel like the the, the snowballs on the side look like eyes to me and then we got the little market stall itself there are no stickers or prints in this set so maybe they could have had some stickers or prints on these tiles here but i don't know it kind of just looks like wood paneling effect we got christmas kind of Banners and bunting with the colours going on there. And for some reason, it has a chimney. I don't really know why, because there's no need for it. But it's there. Okay. I guess if you turn this into some sort of food vending stand or something, that might make a bit more sense. And we've got the presents up in the top storage area. And then just down below is just that. Sure, this looks fine as it is. But what if I built a second one and like doubled it up and... So it looks like it's been cut in half. So if I have another one on the other side, it could be like this big centerpiece thing in the middle of the market. Maybe change out what's going on this side. Like have some different things and not just toys. And then I can actually use those other toys from the second set to make this shop look fuller. So I might do that. And luckily, I have another one. In fact, I've got one more too, but I don't plan to build three today. I don't need that. But two, I think that might be better actually. And then there were two. Built it exactly how it should, so it is identical, but now let's do some customizations and put it together. So I've took off the two chimneys because I didn't think they made any sense, and I moved these two white rounded plates just to kind of lock it in together. That's the only way I've connected it without using any extra parts of my own inventory or anything. So, you know, it can be done, and I think this would make sense being symmetrical back to front, like it is in the middle of the, like, the town market, for example. People can come up all sides. So yeah, I mean, at the moment, it still does have the same items on each side, but once I place it in my winter village, I might do some further customization to it and things. But I think putting two together just makes it look complete. But then again, if you want to leave it as one, I think even just one is fine. You know, it doesn't need to be. Like, I've done it, but I'm happy I've done this. So here we go. Here's everything I built today, including the bits from the Christmas therapy add-on pack. Now that I've put these minifigures over here, maybe it's a story. Like, this was them earlier in the day, and here they are later. Maybe it's mother and son. The mum runs the stall, and he's just there to visit. I don't know. Use your imagination. And then with the two chimneys, maybe I could put these on here, and it could be like they're on some sort of little plinth or something. There we go. So they look like more decorative ornaments i don't know use your imagination that's what lego is kind of all about 
I'm still pretty proud of that Christmas tree I made, though. Even if it is flat, I'm still pretty... Yeah, that's just... Ah, I am clever sometimes. But yeah, here we go. Do you own the VIP add-on pack, or do you own the Winter Time Market store? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next video where I'm beginning to place things in my winter village. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.